Hello Capricorn, let's get talking about April because we have some topics that you might not think are important to you, but suddenly they become a big deal. For starters, on April 9th, Mercury goes retrograde in your fifth house. And until April 20th, all of a sudden you and your partner, your lover, might not be able to agree on the things that you used to so easily anymore. You might even be re-evaluating an important decision about whether or not to have a child, or you might be having a hard time agreeing on what to do with an existing child if there is some kind of problem going on there. Another possibility is that you'll have a creative block and all of a sudden, whatever creative project you're working on, you can't move forward on. And if you can't, you have to take a couple of steps back and see where you're at, polish where you're at, and just sit there and let it simmer. When Mercury goes direct, you'll figure it out. Then on April 20th until May 3rd, Mercury retrogrades through your fourth house of home and family and you will be reevaluating a lot of decisions around your home life real estate wise or domestically with a relative. There could be some miscommunication there to work through. On April 15th, Venus turns direct and will turn direct in your third house of siblings and communication. So now you'll be able to make decisions about money and relationship in a more seamless way and communication between you and a sibling will become much more diplomatic and harmonious than it has been for the last few weeks. On the 21st, Mars goes into your sixth house and remains there until June 4th. And so with Mars in your sixth house, you're in serious workaholic mode. You're meeting deadlines at lightning speed. You are so ambitious and you're pursuing a lot of freelance assignments and I know you're going to get all of them. Now that you know your signs forecast for this month, be sure to watch more astrology videos with me right here at tarot.com.